Let's just say, bro, the WNBA secured a new national media rights package worth $2.2 billion across 11 years with the three companies, according um, allowing the league to earn approximately $200 million per year beginning with the 2026 season. Now, at first, I thought that was good news. Like, congrats, you know, you guys have been going up in views and whatnot. Like, it makes sense. But the real uproar around everything is that the NBA's current negotiations for its approximately $75 billion media rights deal over 11 years with the companies Disney, NBC, and Amazon has created a bit of an uproar. So my question to you is, do you think that the WNBA should have secured a more lucrative media rights deal? And also keep in mind, too, the NBA owns 60% of the WNBA. And not only do they own 60% of the WNBA, they are also the ones that negotiated the new deal for the WNBA. And the current deal with Disney, CBS, and ION is worth $50 million annually and will expire after the 2025 season. So what's the, so what's the uproar? You went from $50 million to... Two point two billion. Well, really, off the, of one draft, you know. I think that the upper. I really think is more about the NBA um, securing the deal for Smart. the WNBA that has created that much of an uproar, and them going after seventy five billion dollars. So the WNBA's thing is that they feel like because of Caitlin Clark's new resurgence um, and everything that's happened over the past couple of years, they've gone up one hundred and eighty three percent. Um, in a lot of areas in terms of viewership and whatnot. And I believe they feel like they, they're worth a lot more. And I really think, too, as well, it's the fact that it's over 11 years. Like if you ask me, I actually believe they should have secured a more uh, lucrative media rights deal because it's over 11 years, right? So it's not just over like three or four years, which is like, okay, yeah, that's pretty solid. But basically, even though they're going to quadruple their earnings value per year with the new deal, it's the fact that they're looking at Caitlin Clark, they're looking at Andrew Reese, and you're talking over, like, this is secured, so it's over 10 or 11 years. You don't know what's going to happen in that time period. If you're going to get any more players in, it's going to increase the value or whatever the case may be. So I feel like they, they're they looking at like, we aren't, we still aren't valued where we think we should be valued. I disagree. I feel as though that is their value. They're, the WNBA is not even like promoting Caitlin like they should or Angel or, you know, Cameron or Rakia Jackson for that matter. Um, they yeah. definitely um, kind of fumbled the ball. I mean, you don't have neither one of your new stars on Team USA. And then it looks worse when those two very young stars are on the the All Star team, and you know their All Star game was the All Stars versus Team USA. Angel had a double double in eighteen minutes. It just showed that you know they should be on that Olympic team. And uh, if you were really promoting and pushing, and like you wanted more out of what you have, you know, you want to bump them numbers up as high as you can get them, you know, for negotiations, but you chose not to. You know, the first game of the year should have been the Fever versus Chicago Sky. Yeah, yeah I agree with you. You know, yeah. like keep it going. You know, Bird and Magic. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. may really make it a thing. You know, they're kind of doing it, but they're not fully doing it. You not know, at all. so I feel so they they got their value. They got their exact value of what they're worth for current. You know, I would um, disagree with you in terms of where their value is, but I'll agree with every other point that you listed. I think that they have a, a problem understanding what their product is. Their actual product is entertainment. It's not basketball. They don't know how to market it and they don't know how to sell it to the public, which is why everything that you said is, is so accurate. You're not everything you said is very accurate in terms of what games should have been, how they should be promoting uh each of the rivalries and whatnot. But I do think based on what I've seen from the WNBA and the moves that they're making and the players that they have, they they could have gone from maybe five to ten billion. You know what I'm saying? Over the next ten years, just off projected, um, just off of where things are projected, I will say that much. They could have at least secured five to ten billion, but they're not the ones doing it. The NBA is. So if we're just talking about it from a business standpoint, it makes sense. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, the NBA owns the NBA. I'm sure they, yeah, I'm sure that they went for the most lucrative deal that they could get. At the end of the day, you know, I get the always oh, up 180 percent, and you know, we're getting you know sellout arenas, and we're getting this, this, and this. Okay, 
I, the first thing you got to do is not compare it to the NBA. You know, one person is going from 10 to, to 100, whereas the other is going from 10,000 to 100,000. You know what I'm I saying? saying? I see what you're saying. Like, it's very different, you know, dynamics. You're selling out arenas, but you're selling out your arenas. You're not selling out, you know what I'm saying, NBA arenas consistently. And when Caitlin goes against Angel, yeah, they move it to the big the big dome. Right, right, you right. Know? But mm -hmm. you have to move it to. That's not, you know what I'm saying? Where are Facts. you at regularly, you know? Facts. So they are, you know, they're well in their way. This is, like, really, like, year one. You know, I so yeah, you. in 11 years, that next deal, you know, that's where, it's, you know, you'll see a big, uh, uh, even bigger leap. But this is a huge leap going from where once the CBA comes up now, I think Caitlin came in, she's making like 70K a year. 76,000. Right? 76,000. The average right? player is making 242. So now. The top player, I mean, not the average player, the top the, player is making 242. The, so the, the the top player now becomes the bottom line. That's what you want. Yeah. A girl like Caitlin will come in and make that as a rookie, yeah. as a top pick rookie. And when you involve more money, that makes your position a little more solid too, you know, or you're not as quick to want to cut somebody because they didn't, they've already signed on for 200 a year. You got to pay them 880 over the four. You're going to keep that girl a little longer. You know, because nice. you're a little more tied to it. So I think this is all beneficial all the way around. And then where does that take the top player? You know, now do they get a, a million dollar contract where mm -hmm. she's making a million a year? You know, you got to look at if you want to compare it to the NBA, you got to compare it to where you're at, which is like 40 years behind them. You know, yeah. like, remember, you know, it was a big deal for Magic to get a million you know, it was a big deal for Jordan to get like 10, 15 a year. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's, it's level. So you don't just jump up, you know. Well, they're, they're hot right so, now. You I, know what I'm saying? They're I, hot right now, and they feel because of where they right. are, and, how hot they are. And as a business, are. let's say you're Amazon. You mm -hmm. want to make sure this is sustainable, you know. Very you don't want to pay for one hot year. You know right. what I'm saying? So I got to make sure I got to leave some leeway for the next 11 years to not go as planned because that's possible. Facts. Facts. Here's something Terry Jackson said. She said, we have wondered for months how the NBA would value the WNBA and its media rights deal with a reportedly $75 billion deal on the table. The league is in, is in control of its own destiny. More precisely, the NBA controls the destiny of the NBA. So they, they're really taking an upward of this. They're really taking it upward is because they feel like they've been undervalued. And I'm telling you, it's just because of how hot they are right now.